got to turn the volume down here so that you don't hear a double audio thing. So this is the uh, Pacific Raceways series, the P123 race number one, first race, first road race since uh, COVID. All of us have been on Zwift for like a year and a half, so. But uh, everybody stayed upright. It was a beautiful day. This uh, track is, this course is a uh, car racing track. So all of the turns are like super wide. The pavement's really good. It makes for a not terribly technical race, but I really found it to be fun. Like there's a lot of road that you can use and so you can really move around the outside of the, the peloton easily. So this course is flat and headwind on um, the side that we're on right now. You can see the arrows. Oh, just for changing camera. Oh yeah, I gotta explain. So I actually have a front facing camera, uh, but it's aiming at my helmet. And so I'm mostly gonna be showing you my rear facing camera so that you don't have to look at this view of my helmet and the, the legs in front of me. Um, yeah, anyway. So I put the put a, uh, the map in the lower right hand corner of the screen here. You can see that there's uh, some arrows for the wind direction. So we're on the, the side of the course that has a downhill and an uphill. And so this is the tailwind side of the course. And so basically the gist is that the tailwind doesn't really matter. And it's a headwind uh, on the other side where the uh, start finishes. This, uh, this downhill, you can get going pretty fast. 43 miles per hour was probably one of my slower descents for the day. And there's this like super hidden pothole uh, right there. God, everybody hits that. I heard a lot of people grunting as they went over that. Um, but anyway, so we've got this nice lawn as we're going downhill. And then we've got a sort of two-step uphill here. So you can see I'm putting on the watts just to, uh, just to stay with the people in the front of the group. Yeah, this is still lap one for hitting 1200 watts on this little kicker of a hill. So that's the first first step, and the second step comes next, and it's bigger and steeper. Um, and so this is a big feature of this this course. You know, I'm kind of a, a lighter guy, and so I like to see a little bit of elevation in the course. They apparently only run this this version of the course when it's raining, um, but they ran it today because they were doing construction in uh, another part of the course. Uh, usually when they run this course, it's super flat. So anyway, this, this suited me. It's like a like a one minute climb from bottom to top. And it'll it'll punish you if you don't have uh, high watts per kilogram, one minute effort. Uh, so I suppose I should say I'm, uh, I'm on a team here. I've got uh, uh, four of my teammates in the race. We're in the blue Apex kits, which you can't really see right now. Oh, this guy who's behind me now, Jesse from Kelly Benefits. We're gonna see a lot of him in this race. He he really lit it up. He was attacking quite a bit. Um, all right. Well, I cut to something, so there's got to be something interesting happening here. I wonder where it is. Oh, it looks like an attack is going. Ah, oh, yeah. I just wanted to show you how like so so that attack was pretty spicy, and I had a thousand watts to follow it. But I was in the draft the whole time. And so for a lot of these attacks, I could always find a wheel that would just like keep me keep me out of the wind and then just follow it. And so this is a good example of like getting a little bit of a break um, early on in the race. I think we were like lap two or three here. Um, and so we realized that we've got a little break from the group and we start rolling turns. You know, and this is this is what I was really going for on the day. I really wanted to uh, try and see if I could get into a breakaway and get into a reduced sprint because, you know, I'm not, not a watt monster, not a big guy. Um, so I'm rolling turns here, you know, trying to keep the thing moving. But uh, as you can see, the peloton has already caught us. You know, even though we were doing such a hard effort on the front. Oh yeah, there you go. Here's a good example of the apex kit. So this is Joel behind me. Joel's going to play a big, uh, big role towards the end. We're actually going to see a ton of Joel. Uh, and you can see Joel's camera on the front of his bike there. Um, Joel's camera, Joel donated some video so that we can have a little bit of forward-facing stuff without having to look at my helmet. So that would be funny. Look at that bike. Look at all of that all matches. Bike, jersey, helmet. Gotta do something about the shoes though. Doesn't, doesn't quite line up. Okay, 
to look at a Joel. Apparently when I cut the video I thought this was really important the way to make it look at Joel. Uh, there you go Joel, thanks for sending me your video. Raising bikes is fun. I missed it. It's just really fun to be out there. All right, we're cutting again. What's going on? Let's see, we're at the top of the hill, going back through the start finish. Oh, here's a. Oh yeah, this is the. There's a preem here, and I didn't know about it, but I just followed it, and I thought this was a really good example of like. It's really hard to get away. So there was somebody at the front of this group who was just going balls out, must have been going 800 watts. And uh, there's this guy in the black kit here that just pulls everything back together. You know, you can see it's like super strung out back there. But this just uh, keeps the group together. You know, even after such a hard surge like that, you know, just not getting separation. Oh yeah, we're way later in the, the race here. You can see Joel on my wheel again. Um, so uh, there's, uh, there's a couple guys up the road, and uh, they, uh, they're, they're from like two of the big players uh, in this race. Uh, gray jersey, you can see one of the gray jersey guys there that I just passed. And Fount, you can see the triple the X jersey here. Um, no, that's not right. Where are we? Where? What are we doing? What are we doing? I think this was just a surge on the front. I'm just showing you another surge on the front. Like it was impossible to get a break going in this uh, in this race. Um, you know, the the front's going like super hard right now. Um, you know, I'm getting a solid draft, so I'm not pushing that hard. But you'll see in a moment that uh, the front uh, front picks it up a little bit, and I surge to uh, to get onto the back of them. And you'll see the the guy behind me, Jonathan. He uh, reaches down to take a drink. Surge happens, uh, and then he's left out in the wind. I had no idea. I just reviewing the video afterwards, and you know, I, I get to see him having to pull this all back. But you can see, like, that just keeps the keeps the group together. That elastic was really strong. And this is this is the attack by Gray that I was talking about. So this this guy I'm gonna refer to as Gray Number One. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know what their, their team name is. I was digging through the results, I was trying to figure it out. Anyway, so gray number one goes on this really blistering attack here. Um, and actually it was it was kind of like a diesel. Like, you know, he just like rolls off the front and keeps gaining ground and gaining ground and gaining ground. And um, I think at this point, like one of the Fount Riders, which are the, the green jerseys with the X's on them, uh, rolls with him. And so this is dangerous. These are the two two big players in this race. And so I'm watching it. I'm hoping that I can catch somebody who's bridging up. But uh, nobody's bridging up. And this goes on for another, I don't know, lap or so. And uh, Gray, Gray and Fount are getting, like, way, way up there. Um, and so I decide, like, it's, it's time to do something about this. So I figured that the best place for me to attack was on the... The hill, so I'm just waiting to get to the bottom of the, the downhill here, where we're all eating a ton of wind, um, and then get away as we start to go back up again. So you can see I didn't want anybody to follow me, so I was way over on the side of the road there. I'm just trying to carry my speed as we go up the hill. Oh, uh, this, this damn near killed me. I don't know, depending on how, how good I can do the audio, you might, uh, you might hear me gasping for air pretty soon. Got another fount rider here who's uh, coming up with me. Oh, it was a Gene Johnson that was up with Gray, number one. Yeah, and here's the fount rider. Fount rider's riding with me. That's, that's what happened. Now I remember. Okay, so me and fount rider, we're going we're gonna to bridge up to this this gray rider and a gene johnson guy gene johnson is the uh blue and uh and red kit 
you'll see there's a there's a Gene Johnson racer who's a really good sprinter uh, who plays a big role in the, the finish here. So I'm just gassed here. Like 181 beats per minute is pretty pretty much max heart rate for me. So I'm like wheezing. Uh, everybody's looking at each other in this this little break that we. Oh yeah, I caught up to him. Um, and uh, I'm not I'm not gonna take the I'm I'm just gassed. And so of course uh, then gray attacks right about now. And so I'm stuck putting in a in a dig while I'm in recovery mode. And by Gene Johnson guy, I don't think he was ready for that. Um, and so now it's me, me, Font, and, and Gray number one. Well, gray number one is just overpowering us. And so he's just like taking off. And I'm like in the red, you know, pushing 600 watts, staying on uh, Font's wheel. And so I'm not, I'm not pulling off. There's no way. And so we encounter the 4-5 uh, the field here. Um, you know, fun story, for some reason, this, uh, there's this guy who, uh, who's at the front of this field and he just, like, hops into our draft and starts, uh, starts chasing us. Um, that's, that's not, not cool, apparently. Like, uh, when you pass another field, you've gotta, 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 like, neutralize and wait for us to go. So I give this guy a few words, like, hey, man, you gotta, you gotta back off. You know, we passed your field, you gotta neutralize. And by then, I think I've recovered enough to take a pull. So I tell this, uh, tell this Fount guy that, hey, why don't we go uh, see if we can catch Gray? I don't know why Gray left without us, but uh, we have a really good chance of staying away if we work together. You can't even see our field behind the 4 or 5 field, but they're coming. Oh, you can kind of see them now. They're just getting ready to pass. You know, you can see I'm putting out like 420 watts on the front. That's, uh, that's a good push. You know, like I'm not, I'm not half pulling it, but I'll save you the the time. They they pull us back, but Gray is still out there. Gray number one is still out there, and we're I think we might be on last lap now. That seems likely. The map's broken. Oh, actually, that's a good good indicator that the we're on the last lap because the map the dot stops moving on the map. So I'm actually we're looking through Joel's cam now, and I'm actually up there. You can tell me by the there's a camera on my helmet facing at my helmet and I'm like fighting elbows to like stay on gray number two's wheel so gray number two like I've staked this guy out like so I figured that as soon as gray number one gets caught gray number two that's his counterattack moment and so I'm just gonna ride this guy's wheel and see if he'll uh if he'll bring me into position sure enough he's like taking a hard dig now on the outside of the group and I'm just like following his wheel as I I get like an elevator ride to the front so we're just about to come to the downhill here and uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to quite go off the front here. This is going to be a windy area. I want protection of the group, but I want to make sure that I'm in really good position coming to this uh, this last climb and and the finish. God damn, we're flying down this hill. You know, both feels incredibly fast and not super fast at the same time somehow. you can see like gray's gray number two is pulling out a line and i'm i'm wondering what he's doing like is he gonna attack is he uh why is he even win um i wasn't quite sure what was going on but i'm realizing at about this point that i'm i'm a little too close to the front we're just about to start the last climb and i want to be like maybe two or three more wheels back oh you can see gray number one up the road there like we're getting close to him but like he might make it and so Joel decides, like, I'm going to shuffle the deck. And this was perfect for me because I did not want to be so close to the front. I wanted a really good draft to go catch up to gray number one up there. And Joel lights up this blistering attack that just shuffles the deck. Here's, uh, here's from my, my tail cam point of view. There goes Joel. Ripping it. You can see, like, I let a couple people go in front of me, and they provide, like, the best wind block that I could ask for. You know, I'm putting in some big watts here, but they're putting in more. And it really got some separation. You can see uh, Jesse 
uh, in the white kit here is uh, bridging up. That's the name of the day. That guy does not let a move go. He's a good wheel to follow. Lessons learned. But we kind of cool it towards the top, and I'm starting to to pant like I'm dying again. But no rest for the wicked. A move immediately goes from the left side. Sorry about the helmet cam. Here's Joel's view of that move going. And so I got to jump to get on it. Look at that. Just smooth as silk. Getting in that slipstream. This was this was the move that really put me into position. But I want you to see my back cam here because we immediately get separation. But again, Jesse is right back on my wheel. And he uh, he comes around me. I think he was probably hearing me breathing like I was dying and <laughs> deciding that he'd be better off in front of me as we get to the sprint. But that was that was clinch for me to clutch, for me to, uh, to make this work. So this Gene Johnson guy is like doing a, doing a lead out. Um, Jesse comes flying around and you know, doing a hard pull. There's one hot guy up the road. And I just wait for Jesse's slipstream until he starts to slow down a bit. Oh my god, you can hear me drive. Thank you so much, man. I just give her help. The whole time I'm just like waiting for like, a proper sprinter to like come around me. And so what I want you to notice here is you can see there's a Gene Johnson guy in a white helmet over on the right from our point of view. He's coming all the way from the back. Look at him, he's just coming up, coming up, coming up. And that guy almost got the win for me. He was so close. Holy hell. That was one show of force. And there we go, I jumped for the line. You can see I did my, did my reach, got my ass in the camera view. And there we have it. It's the uh, first race of 2021 and uh, we're in the